If you are new, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall favorite slash must-have products that I adore for this time of the year. So basically, this video is going to be eyes, uh, cheeks, nails, a few random things, and there's going to be a separate video all about lipsticks. So let's get into it. I wanted to start with a fun way to include some type of color into your eye makeup, and a fun and easy way to do so is eyeliner. But those type of colors work perfectly for fall because they are just bright enough that you might see what the color is from up close, but from afar they still look almost black. So I have two eyeliners that I really wanted to talk about. Not only the color, but also the formula. The first one being Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, which you probably all know about the black one, which I seem to have misplaced my black one, but it doesn't matter. The black one I've used for two, three years now, and it's absolutely awesome. It's waterproof, lasts all day, so I decided to get a dark navy blue because why not? And the formula is just as great. It's super fun, it's super easy to use, the formula is just as great. So if you were looking for a fun new color to add into your eyeliner game, I would recommend this one. The second one is probably my favorite. I have been wearing this eyeliner so much, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. And it is the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Eyeliner. I have the color Safari Matte, which is a dark forest green color. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know from uh, that distance if you're going to be able to tell, but the formula, if you've ever used a liquid lipstick as an eyeliner, this is the closest thing I can think of. It goes on somewhat thick, but not to the point where it's going to be a crumbling throughout the day, but it dries extremely matte, which I adore that finish, and it's super, super fun. I've been wearing it so, so much. Definitely something I would highly recommend you checking out. Eyeshadows, I have a few palettes and singles. I want to start with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, so if you don't own that palette and if it can be in stock, I highly recommend you check that one out, because if you like those type of reddish colors, it's gonna be the palette for you. There's so many great shadows in there. I've used it a ton. It's currently at home, so I'm gonna include the pictures so you can see the shadows. They're fantastic, the formula is great. I've got so much juice out of it, which I did not expect to do so. And considering that it's been so loud for so long, I think it says it all. I also wanted to mention something a little bit different. This is the Lorac Pro Matte Palette, and I feel like I don't hear anyone mention this palette, and I don't understand why, because look at those shadows. Isn't this the perfect, like, neutral, everyday fall palette? or year-round, obviously, but I'm actually wearing this a little bit today. I didn't want to go too crazy because I wanted to be able to wear it to green eyeliner and for you to see it, but I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. I tend to forget it because it's so small, but I've been putting it on my table so I could start using it, and I adore it. The formula is just as great as the other pro uh, palette from Lorac. By the way, if you live in Canada, Amazon does ship to Canada because I know it's hard to find, but totally worth it. I actually bought it when I went to Ulta in the US and as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. So. Speaking of all matte eyeshadows, if you're still looking for that perfect fall palette, another one that I would recommend checking out would be the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. The fact that all the colors are matte are already a big plus to me. Nothing is unwearable in there and there's definitely something for everyone. Some shades that are a little bit more cool toned, some of the ones that are pretty neutral, and then a few that are a little bit warmer. Again, all very, very wearable. You can do so many different looks with this palette. So another great palette that actually screams fall to me. One that I've been really enjoying lately has been the Tarte Tartelette in Bloom eyeshadow palette and honestly it's almost too pretty I don't want to use it because the eyeshadows are so stunning and there's this huge ass mirror right there which is also a huge plus to me if you like a mix of shimmery and matte eyeshadows this is the perfect palette once again there's a great mix of more neutral some warmer some cool tone eyeshadows so you can definitely do a lot of different looks in there one of the reasons I chose to buy this palette was the fact that there's none of these colors that I wouldn't wear, plus there's not a huge like imbalance between uh, matte and shimmery. There's only three shimmery colors, which to me is perfect because those are the type of color lighter that I would apply on my lid whenever I want something shimmery. I don't really care for like really dark shimmery eyeshadows unless it's going to be something I want to apply on my lid. So I think this is definitely like an everyday but you can also use for going out palette. So again, just a great mix in my opinion. I also wanted to give a special shout out to a few single eyeshadows because sometimes you don't want to buy a full palette, you just want that specific color that you want. And these are all great shades. There's a couple of very highly shimmery metallic ones, NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow. Even if it's not that specific color that you get, this one is uh, the liquid gold color. So this one isn't perfectly gold by the way, it's more of a coppery color than really a true gold. 
But this line of eyeshadow is some of my favorite from drugstore, or actually not even just from drugstore. They're fantastic. They have also a couple that are duochrome. So if you're looking for fun eyeshadows in general, recommend the NYX Prismatic colors. But this one specifically for the fall, again, all over the lid. This is just a color that's super easy to wear. And if you're really into those like goldy coppery color, this is a fantastic option. Next, I have something that is a classic. I mention it often, but it's something that deserves all the hype it can get. It won't surprise anyone, but obviously I'm talking about the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. This is just the perfect rose gold color, highly metallic. The form is absolutely stunning, honestly. This is the type of color that every time they will come out with a color that I'm interested in, I will buy them, and I believe they just reduced the prices at Ulta. I'll link that down below because this is the time to stock up. But these type of colors are basically pressed pigments, so they're very, very creamy, they're intensely pigmented and metallic, so if you haven't tried any yet, this is one of the colors I would recommend. If you're looking for something that is a little bit more uh, bronzy, a little less orangey, I would go with this one, which is called Bronze Taupe. I'm not sure it's the same name everywhere, so once again, I'll put that down below, but another great color that is perfect all over the lid, super easy to wear. I have two matte colors to share with you. The first one is actually a blush, and it is the NYX HD Blush in Taupe, which is a little different color-wise than the other one that they used to have and this one I only use pretty much as a, a crease color. I find it a little too gray to contour but obviously different skin tone, different things will work. But this is the perfect crease color if you're looking for that type of like mauve taupey color. This is perfect. It's very very creamy. It's easy to blend. It's not overly pigmented but it's still easy to build up so fantastic color. I use it as an eyeshadow. A gigantic eyeshadow but still an eyeshadow nonetheless. Last but not least, this is probably the most beautiful color that I've shown you today so far and this is a Makeup Forever single eyeshadow. The color is MN29, so it is a matte color. And is this not the most stunning eggplant color we've ever seen? How beautiful is this? I just, I'm afraid to touch it half the time, I'm just like, you're too pretty to be touched. But this is just absolutely stunning. The formula of the Makeup Eyeshadow is just out of this world. I need to get more of their single eyeshadows, so if you have any recommendations, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments because the formula is fantastic, but this is the color that I recommend you get. Every time I'm in store, I just see it and I'm like, wow, I need to wear it more, but it's just too pretty. You might not know this, but blushes are actually my true weakness, even more than lipsticks, so it was pretty difficult for me to uh, try to bring it down. I have four colors to mention. I'm probably going to list some more in the description box. And don't hesitate to uh, leave me any questions because those are my current favorite on my skin tone. So obviously different undertone and everything might change the color. So it will be my pleasure to leave some more recommendation for everyone. But let's start with MAC blushes because they have an amazing range of color. If you like a color but it's a bit too light for you, you can easily find a color that is like two or three shades darker super easily. The two colors I want to mention are sheer tones because it's my favorite uh, formula simply because they are sheer but they're easy to build up so you don't have to worry in the morning to end up looking like a clown and having to blend out your blushes for like 10 hours. So I have two different shades to mention. The first one is a little bit more of a mauve pinky color. This one is the color Blush Baby. And one of the only colors that hasn't been discontinued from my favorite stash from MAC. And this looks a little uh, on the warm side on my skin tone. If you're a little bit warmer, it's gonna be a little bit more purpley. And it's just so easy to wear on a daily basis. The color is perfect. It can match with absolutely anything you're gonna wear. I'm very often wearing this on camera. As you can see, it's kind of a nude color, a little bit more nude than what I'm wearing on my lips. And it's just super easy to wear, to pull off. There's no shimmer, no glitter. The second one I wanna mention is the color Gingerly. And this is just the perfect fall color to me. I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today. I'm hoping it's gonna show up on camera because sometimes the lighting just affects everything. I try to apply a good amount so you can probably see it. It's just a little bit on the peachy side. There's a little bit more brown than if you think peaches by MAC. So this is definitely more fall to me than peaches. It's fantastic. Once again, sheer tone, so no shimmer, no glitter, super easy to blend out, and it's just a dream to work with right underneath. So you can see next to each other, you can see that Blush Baby is more pink than uh, Ginger Lee, but two favorite colors that I can't live without during the fall time. Next, I want to talk about some Tarte blushes because you can't do a favorite blush video without mentioning Tarte. 
The formula is fantastic. They last 12 hours and they're not kidding. I would say 24 hours, honestly. The formula is fantastic no matter what your skin uh, type is. If it's super oily and nothing seems to stay on your cheeks, same thing if your skin is really, really dry and you don't want to emphasize the dryness or even uh, the texture if you have some scarring and you don't want to emphasize it, so you tend to just avoid blushes in general. I recommend going for these ones. Most of their colors are matte. These two actually are. And they work beautifully on the skin. They don't emphasize any texture and they last perfectly all day long. This one is a light peachy color. This one is the color Hiski. They're very pigmented. I do have to use a light hand. You don't have to like swirl your brush in there and then apply it to your cheeks. Otherwise it's gonna be very intense. But another great peachy color, as you can see, they're actually different than the other ones. I'm surprised because I feel like I tend to like these type of like neutral-ish color and they tend to look the same, but they don't. The other color I wanna mention is the color that I recommend probably the most and it is Tarte Exposed. It's just, the color that works all year round, but specifically during fall to me. It's just a perfect peachy, neutral, pinky color, like that is really like anything and everything. This will work with anything you want. If you want to wear a bright lip, a dark lip, a dark eyeshadow, or just a very neutral, everyday, no makeup makeup look, this will work perfectly no matter what. So this is the type of color that I usually buy for a friend whenever she wants one blush and that's all she wants because it works for everything. If you're looking for something a little bit more out there, I would recommend something like NARS uh, Sin because it is kind of a uh, mauve darker purple color, but there's some gold sparkle in there and it's definitely different. Very, very fun for the fall too. Another thing that I absolutely love doing during the fall is to be inside curled up with a blanket, some thick socks that I'm gonna show you in a second, and just a little bit of a crack in the window so you're a little bit cold and you read a good book while drinking some tea. Is that not the perfect combo? I don't know about you, but it is to me. And probably my favorite book that I've read last month was this one, which is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. And if you're looking for the perfect thriller book to read during the fall, this is the one that I would recommend. Not only the cover is super trippy and intense, but the book itself is fantastic. I don't want to say too much about thrillers because thrillers, the less you know, the better. But basically, this one is a thriller sci-fi, so there's a little bit of like scientific thing in there, but it's pretty easy to follow. And it really makes you think about your decisions in life, every single thing that can really change everything. You're following a main character that uh, basically gets kidnapped and he wakes up and his life is not his life and he's just trying to figure it out. So if you're still looking for a great read for the fall, I would recommend this one. If you don't know, by the way, I do have a booktube, so I will link down below the link so you can follow me there if you don't already but I will have more recommendations of book in there. I also want to mention two booktubers because it's always fun to share the love and it's also more videos for you to watch people find. So I want to mention two girls that are absolutely fantastic, super, super sweet. There is Molly Reads and there's Jay from Jay Bookish. So if you're not following them and you're looking for more people to follow, I highly recommend you do so. I will also link them down below. I was mentioning thick socks and I do love the classic from uh, Roots. Those are the great ones that I constantly wear during the winter in my boots because they keep me warm. But I've recently been gifted by a friend some reading socks uh, from Chapters and and I needed to share them with you because they're absolutely adorable and we were speaking of thick socks while reading so I needed to mention them and are they not the most adorable socks you've ever seen in your entire life they are so comfortable and so so soft and yeah they're just a must-have look at these aren't they so cute so if you were looking for some great socks I would recommend checking out your chapters they're adorable. <laughs> you might have noticed throughout the video that my nails do not match on both my hands and it's because I wanted to talk about nail polish and as I was removing one of my hands, I'm like, why not just keep half and then show the other half too? So that's what I'm doing. The first color is Zoya Rue, which is just the perfect mauve just fun color. It's perfect for all year round, but during the fall, I especially like my nudes to be a little bit more darker, a little bit more purple, and this is just essentially what this is. The next one is this one. This one is OPI Mi Miami Beats, which is so fun. Look how adorable that is. There's also another color that I love from them. I'm gonna write it down because I suck at pronouncing that word, Manicurist of Seville, and it's just a little bit darker, a little bit more vampy, and it's fantastic also. I know also uh, Sally Anson came out with some really great red color. This one is the color V Amplified. Yeah, V Amplified. So those are the type that uh, become gel-like and they last really, really well. So another great color. It's a bit darker than the uh, Miami Beat, so you can see the difference. 
I also wanted to mention one more thing. I've been having way too much fun with this and I'm going to try to show you on camera live. And it is the OPI Matte Top Coat. I usually use it with a really, really dark shade, like a black, for example. That way it looks like you're wearing like leather on your nails. Or I'm going to try to apply it a little bit on this one. You can see how shiny it is. So let's apply a little bit of this. I'm going to try to zoom you in. I have no idea what it's going to look like from this angle, but I'm going to try my best. Trying. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see. Can you see it? It's matte! It's so much fun and it takes like a few seconds and it's just awesome. Look at this. Now there's no more shine. It's so cool. I'm like way too excited about this, but I highly recommend you try it. It's really, really a lot of fun. I'm hoping I'm going to have time to do a fashion haul video, but just in case I wanted to include a little piece right there because there's so many I could show. but. This little sweater from Misguided is probably the one that I've been wearing the most lately. Look how adorable it is. It just looks like a gray sweater, but it almost has a little, little bit of a blue tinge to it. And it looks really, really nice. It's a little bit cropped, but not overly cropped. And there's a little sleeve and it's just, it's adorable. It would not be a fall must have without talking at least a little bit about some Bat & Body Work candles because they have the best scents. Honestly, I adore these two especially. I'm gonna keep my favorite for after. Let's start with this one, which is just a classic. This is Start Farm Stand Apple, and it smells like apples. To me, fall is apples. I don't know why, that's just how it is. And this is basically what they say. Macintosh apple, pear blossom, oak. Literally like you're picking apples and this is perfect for fall. I absolutely love this scent. I know everyone loves leaves, but I find it very, very strong and something that is a little easier that you can give to anyone and nobody will be offended by that scent has to be autumn because this is exactly what fall is to me. It smells like you're walking outside in the forest with a little bit of apples. Is that not the best scent ever? <laughs> Basically some note of apple, cedarwood, and balsam, and oh, yes, best scent ever. So if you see a candle burning in my background during the fall, it's probably one or the other. So those are all the fall products that I wanted to mention. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite products and your must-have for fall. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.